Let's sing a song this morning to the Lord. Let's sing the song, I Have a Joy Like a River. Amen. How many got a joy like a river? Uh, Amen. Amen. I have a joy like a river. Joy like a river. My name is Chaplain Sonia Soto, and I am the director of the program Home Out of the Prisons. Ogal Fuera de las Rejas. It was 30 years ago. I was doing time for a crime that I committed, and so I was sentenced to jail. I was tired of doing the same things that I did every day, which was using drugs too, and I was living a wild life. So while I was in jail, I looked up to heaven and I said, Lord, as I sit here in this cold, damp cell, I would like for you, if you exist, to forgive me of my sins and give me peace that I need. In that moment, I felt like God took away that burden that was upon me for many years, and I felt peace. And so I can truly say that I met him in my cell that night. And one day, I was on my knees praying, and I felt the calling of God which she spoke to my heart and told me to prepare myself that he had something for me. So there the Lord put in my heart to work as a volunteer to the Philadelphia prison system, bring the word of God. Because when I was there, nobody brought me the word of God. And so I wanted to bring it back in Spanish because there was no Hispanic ministry. God put it upon my heart too. When I saw the people coming out of jail, they didn't have a place to go to open up a Christian program, like a re-entry program for people to come to so they can seek God as well, so we can, you know, give them an opportunity to continue their, their spiritual walk. And so God has given me men that come out of um, different jails, county, federal, state. We also take men from the street that are homeless. Anyone that wants to seek the Lord can come to the program. Our goal is for men to know Christ. That's our first goal. We want people to know Christ as their Savior and to let them know that, yes, there is hope. It's like a place where they can find refuge in the Lord, a second opportunity, like a second chance, I would say. I praise the Lord because we have five different teachers, prepared teachers, that come to bring the Word of God on a daily basis. We teach them how to be responsible. We teach them that Christ loves them no matter what they have done in their past. They go to therapy as well, outside therapy. We read the Word of God. We pray on a daily basis. We fast once a week. And we let them know that without God, we cannot do anything. So we're always busy. Sometimes on the weekends, we take them to the park because, you know, we don't want them to feel like they're locked in. But it's like an inpatient program where you can't be in the street, you gotta deny yourself from the street for six months and be inpatient so that you can let God work with you and prepare you to re-enter society again. I am very grateful because I've never known about the Lord, I just found out about Him. No lo conocía. I didn't know Him. Y Dios es buenísimo, en verdad. And God is really, really good. Tengo, estoy tra estaba trabajando, estoy trabajando. I have a part-time job. Y lo que Dios me da, pues, eso, eso lo que, y tenemos una iglesia también. And we have a church too that we go to. Y Dios me ha permitido ser parte de ella. And God has allowed me to be part of that church. Y yo me, yo me asombro a veces porque cosas que no espero que Dios hace por mí y Él las hace por el, por el amor que me tiene. And I am shocked how God blesses me the way He does for His love that He has for me. Porque no somos merecedores de... Because we truly do not deserve it. Since I got here, everything that God has promised, He got keep His word. He has promised to help me to build me up, to make me a man, to make me a person, responsible person, to make me a person that somebody can trust because before nobody can trust me. Now people trust me, not only with little things, with big things. And I thank God for that. 
because of that reason, I am who I am today. And because I know for sure, with no doubt in my mind, that God loves me. And God wants something different from my life than what I have right now. More, more than what I have. More. So God had taught me a lot of things since I've been in here. It's brightened up my mind and opened up my eyes. It makes me detect what I don't need in my life. It makes me detect what I really want in life. And what I want in life is the good life. I want to be with the Good Shepherd. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you. We thank you. One of my biggest challenges in the ministry is our financial situations. Because we do live by faith. We truly live by faith Amen. because we live by the donations that we get from here or there. And, and we visit a lot of churches and we let the men speak and we let them know what kind of a program we have. So the people in the community donate to us clothes, food, money to help us with our bills. We've been here 11 years and the glory be to God. He's always has supplied us for all our needs. And what I see is God working his powerful, mighty works, the way he changes people, um, the way he transforms people. Um, I see his loving care, the way he loves, the way he loves the sinner, but he doesn't love their sin. The way he, he, he just reveals himself personally to the person and lets people know that he is there and he cares and he's willing to help and nothing but nothing is impossible for him. Joy,